words like fab, fabulous, or sad in connection with semiconductors confounded you? In this episode of Tech at Work, we decode these complex terms and understand the process that goes into the semiconductor ecosystem. Let's start with the basics. What is a semiconductor? Now, semiconductor is a material whose electrical conductivity at room temperature is between that of a conductor and insulator. Its conductivity can be controlled, ranging from an insulator all the way to a conductor. Now, common semiconductor materials include silicon, germanium, gallium, arsenide, etc. But silicon is the most influential one in commercial applications. Now, when we say semiconductors, we're often talking about chips or integrated circuits. Now, what is a chip? A chip is a miniaturized circuit made up of billions of transistors, diodes, capacitors, layered on a silicon wafer. So step one is designing the semiconductor chip, which means actually creating the circuit design. Then you decide how to assemble the chip. This designing is done by fabulous semiconductor companies. Fabulous is the word. And they include Qualcomm, Nvidia, AMD, Apple, MediaTek. They also market the chips. So a fabulous company purely designs and markets the chip. They do not manufacture the chip. The manufacturing is done by foundries or fabrication plants. And that is step two. A factory that makes the silicon wafers and chips is called a fabrication facility or fabs for short. Foundries are also manufacturing companies but they do it as a service. The world's biggest semiconductor foundry is TSMC, Taiwanese-based Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company that controls over 50% of the production. Now, the difference between a fabrication plant and foundry is very subtle. All foundries are fabrication plants, which basically means they manufacture. But the question is, if you manufacture it for other people, then you are a foundry. For example, you have companies like Intel, Micron, Samsung, they are called IDMs, Integrated Device Manufacturer. These companies do everything. They design it like the Qualcomm's of the world. They also manufacture it. They sell their own chips. With their own manufacturing plants are called fabrication plants since they manufacture the chips for themselves. But if they give the design to another manufacturing plant, say TSMC, to manufacture as per your specification and they will give it back to you for marketing, then it's a foundry. In fact, you know, back in the day, during the technology boom of the 1970s, top semiconductor manufacturers had a vertically integrated business model, which meant they were all IDMs. They would design, test, build, sell their product. But as the industry deepened and the need for specialization emerged, the industry got split into fabless and foundries. Fabless, again, focuses on design and marketing, uh, and these companies were able to try out new ideas without dealing with the expensive uh, process of manufacturing. The cost of setting up, running and maintaining a foundry is immense, requiring enormous capital, which is why most foundries are located in Taiwan or China, where skilled labor is expense less expensive and production costs are lower. So anyway, getting back to the value chain then. Design is done by fabulous companies. Manufacturing is done by foundries. The next step is something called OSAT. OSAT, it stands for Outsource Semiconductor Assembly and Testing. And this is one of the final stages of semiconductor manufacturing. These companies package and test the chips made by the foundries or IDMs. That's integrated design manufacturing. The manufactured chips are checked for defects and they also ensure, uh, they also add the protective packaging for the finished chips. Packaging and this entire process of OSAT is a little less high tech and India is also aiming to be a big player in the OSAT. ATMP is another broad term which stands for assembly, testing, marketing and packaging and that largely encompasses OSAT. Semiconductors are small in size but they have a super size impact on our global economy and they are at the heart of the mobility, connectivity and communication revolution that we are seeing. It's hard to simplify these technical complex terms of the industry but this is a start and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all our top stories and news updates, 
follow us on our social media platforms.